Hello there, my name is Sherry DeWinter and I'm the Valuing Older People Cultural Offer Manager. I'm working on a really interesting project and I think possibly it's quite unique for the country. It's a consortium of arts and cultural organisations across the centre of Manchester. Just to give you a flavour, it includes such brilliant organisations as Manchester Art Gallery, the internationally renowned Halle Orchestra, the Library Theatre, Chinese Art Centre, the Royal Exchange Theatre and Whitworth Art Gallery. Newer members include Salford Heritage Services. Altogether we have about 14 organisations, some are quite small, um, as you've yeah. clearly heard, some are quite significant and have a, a world class status. For about, I'd say, two or three years, these organisations formed quite a loose, informal working group. This has since been more formalised, partly because of a successful bid to the Bearing Foundation. I think it's been around two or three years now that the Bearing Foundation has increasingly focused its investment in arts and older people. So we're really um, thankful that our application to them was successful because this has meant that the work of this group has become much closer and also they were able to appoint myself as a part-time manager. And tell me about the work of this group then, Sherry. So the group gets together about three or four times a year. What this work has enabled them to do is to partner in a way that wouldn't ordinarily have been possible. So, for example, the Museum of Science and Industry recently delivered a specific tour and it was targeted at about 10, 10 to 12 yeah. old people. It included some healthcare professionals. What was great for the museum is they were able to partner with the Royal Exchange Theatre. As you'll agree, quite an unusual partnership, really, a museum and the theatre coming together to programme about three hours worth of cultural activity, specifically to appeal to people who aren't uh, necessarily arts engaged. It was an incredible success. And on the back of that, we're looking to programme another two before the end of the year.